Morning guys. So as I said in the last video, uh, today's job for myself and Rob is to sort this little mess out here. Spaghetti wiring. We need to sort out which wires we need for these rear lights and the side lights on either side and the, the lights up the top for the markers. Uh, everything else in this mess can go. We just need the wires just for those lights. Um, I'm sure we'll come around here. Now we've already started this this morning and we've isolated one wire at the moment which is for the side lights. Um, got a good signal on there. Shall we do that Rob? Shall we just connect yeah, that up? Just pop that on there mate. You might need to just pull the side lights. Let's just pause a second guys. Alright so uh, yeah we've put the side lights on. Okay Rob go for it. There we go. 14.2 volts, lovely. So we've got a good signal for the side light circuit. Now we need to try and find the direction indicators, the stop lights, the reverse lights on, reverse this, lights as well. reverse lights on this as well. So uh, yeah, let's get cracking. I've decided to um, solder all the wire ends that are going into the clips, um, just in case we get any vibration on the road. The last thing I want to do is start stripping wires out because uh, a light doesn't work, that kind of thing. And I'm going to wire up the lights across the rear, uh, the top rear, um, the red lights. So, so I go into here and then we'll join them all across the back. And we've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, no, it should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven, yeah, seven, that's right. Odd number. All connected up. And uh, just some insulation tape now. Just to... Cool. And tested as well, and they're all working fine. What do you reckon, Rob? That's superb, man. That's all right, isn't it? Superb. It's coming together. And that shadow of a doubt, it's coming together. Oh yeah. And the top ones. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's um, definitely bright enough jump in the back. It's good. All right, isn't they? Just need the ones on the front now. Go for white. white, yeah, white on the front, mate. Yeah, I'll just explain uh, what Rob's building here guys, uh, how it's been done. Right, so this was originally the generator uh, housing, a bit of a trough. Yep, so what we're going to do, or Rob's building it I should say, I'm not doing it, um, is we're going to build an under bench storage area, a little garage. Yeah, so uh, Let's step back a little bit. Okay, so the bench will go here, and it will it will go level to or slightly above the height of the access point, the access door. So all this door access from the outside will be underneath the bench. Okay, uh, these two pieces of wood here, Rob's just 
putting together a little uh, channel so any wiring we can contain in that channel and then the uh, the bench will come out as far as the uh, the front wood if you like okay and of course from a previous video I said the bench is going to go right across to the to the toilet area okay so um, I think we're going to have two access areas from the top not from the front so we have two opening panels at the top so you can get into um, this area as well as access from the outside that's going to change by the way we're not having a, a vent there that's going to have a solid um, stainless steel panel on it or something similar uh, from the outside uh, and that there is a is a fuel hose petrol hose uh, going to the main tank which fed the generator so that's got to come out probably do that tomorrow okay guys just to explain that where we are with that Oh, it's the next morning now guys and uh, plan today for Rob is he's going to start uh, building the uh, the bench seating um, putting it in so um, we'll come back to you a bit later today and uh, show you how that's progressing okay guys so we just paused our work for a little minute or Rob's work for the most part of course um, to explain what's going on here so we've had a little complication um, Rob's been measuring some wood up and making some really, really accurate measurements only to find that we've got some sagging going on here so over the 30 odd years where the big generator has been sat in this trough 150 kilos or wherever it was it's been pulling down on that corner and uh, and so we've had to um, adjust the seating frame uh, to suit because the floor essentially is leaning very slightly that way only about five mil but it makes all the difference when you're putting this frame in here. So uh, we'll come back to it in a bit when we've got a bit more framing in, but we just thought we'd explain that for the moment. Update for you guys. How's that looking? So in here, the inner part is the garage, storage area, and a little trough down there for the wiring. And then uh, there's going to be an access panel on the top, access from the outside, obviously, and this will be uh, upholstered across the front. And then, nice little corner piece, and then we have our television in a little alcove with a nice shelf. How's that looking? And there's that angle for you. And that's it for today, I think. We'll um, get back on it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to have a go at this side. Construct a nice bench for that side. Back in a bit. Another day and another update for you guys. So, there we go. That's the bench seat coming together on the other side. That's our fresh water tank that we're going to use for the showers, washing, that kind of thing. We might take some separate fresh water for drinking with us. But uh, yeah, and that's out of the uh, the RV as it was when we, when we bought it. Um, using the same tank, Samantha's just cleaned her out this morning. Uh, in there is going to go the um, the pump, the 12 volt pump. We've got we've got a check that out tomorrow Rob to make sure yeah, it's actually see if, he's got enough power. see if he's got enough power the the one that came with it we may have to end up buying another one but we'll see how we go with that uh, I'll just spin around just remind you what the other side looks like and then I think we'll end it for the day and there we go guys that's the other side and of course that's where the television goes that you saw yesterday uh, right okay oh, yes and we've still got to build the backs for these yet um, Right, okay guys, we're going to leave it there for this update. Uh, as usual, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, why the hell not? Press that uh, subscribe button and get that notification bell ringing. Okay, uh, from myself and Rob. Okay, take care guys. Love you loads. See you on the next one. Happy camping.